There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. There's a fish. We got something eating the something eating the pinfish here. Dang. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We just hopped off the boat onto this private island. This little island has this giant saltwater pond. Whenever high tide comes in, this whole area gets filled full of water. And I've already seen some fish jumping back here, so we may see if anything is stuck back in this basically tide pool. It's really cool about this area. My family and I were out on the boat this weekend and we were trying to find a spot to hang out with the kids. A lot of these islands get jam packed full of people. So we pulled up on this spot. We're walking around the island and saw this really cool rock jetty. This private island even comes stocked with a bum. Some dude that's just living on the island back here. But out on this island, we found this rock wall. And this is what we saw this past weekend. And so these rocks go all the way back here behind us. Got another tide pool here. Really, really cool area. Picked up some live shrimp from Beach Bum Outdoors this morning. There's also a ton of live bait hanging around the beaches here. So I might throw the cast net. See about getting some of those as well. But really, really cool spot out here. We're going to see all, what all we can get into today. Hopefully we can get some stuff, throw on ice, do a little catch and cook. But we're going to get rigged up, get to fishing. It's hot. Let's get after it. All right, y'all, we got a live shrimp hooked up here. I got a little split shot rig, 12 pound fluorocarbon. Pitch a shrimp out. There's a lot of current out here today. Jonathan, what you're probably gonna have to do is pitch it like up current, let it yep. drift back, reel in, drift back. The tide swaps are missing flounder in here. Oh, really? Yeah. Come on. All right, we'll say it again. Y'all ready? One more time. Let's see if we can There we go. Ah, dang it. Pull a hook on him. That was the right one too. All right, now that that charter boat's out of the way, let's see if we can catch them where they were catching them. Seems like right off this point, drops down a little deeper. I may need to add another split shot on here too. This current is ripping pretty good. There's a fish. There's a fish. Let's see if it's the right one. It's the right one, but a little small. Not the size we're after. They said they caught a bunch of keepers out of here, so. They are here. We just gotta find the right size. All right, <clears throat> pitch another shrimp out. Try to find us a keeper. Bumped up the two split shots to help me get down a little bit better. Maybe not drift as fast in this current. I think these mangroves are hanging a little bit deeper. If y'all are in town and need some live shrimp, we do have live shrimp at Beach Bum Outdoors. All these bites are coming right off this point here. So instead of staying on the rocks, get out of here, Fred. I'm gonna come right over here off the beach. These rocks must go down a little ways here. There he is, there he is. There's a fish. Oh, I don't think that's the right one. <laughs> Big old lady fish. You ever caught a lady fish? Huh? You ever caught a lady fish? Uh -uh. Yeah. <laughs> No, not having. Not exactly the target species. They're fun to catch on light tackle, but. Yeah. Is that minnow or shrimp still? Shrimp. They make pretty good shark bait too. All right. I've caught one little mangrove and one ladyfish. I've had a few bites. They're on this other point, like down here. Get you one, man. We gotta get us a few in the cooler. Not always, but generally, if you're getting bit by pinfish a lot, and you put on a fish bait instead of a shrimp, a lot of times the pinfish will stay away from that a little bit more. There's a fish. Hey, it's the right flavor. No, Fred, no. All right, y'all check it out. First keeper mangrove snapper here on the private island. I'm gonna go throw this guy on ice, get some more shrimp, get it back out there. There's definitely some fish here. We're just having to weed through some of the smaller stuff, some of the pinfish. But these guys are going to be absolutely delicious. Let's go see if we can catch some more. All right, we got one keeper in the cooler now. Just through the cast net, caught a couple little pilchards. These are really good bait for these mangroves. And the uh, pinfish ought to stay away from them a little bit. So we're going to send a live LY down, live pilchard, so he'll get smoked by another keeper. What is happening? That was insane. 
I don't know if my camera was on for the whole thing. That looked like some big fish mixed in there. Yeah, they were big. Golly. That almost looked like the school's a jacks, man. All right, just caught a little pen fish. I think I am gonna keep him. Rig up a bigger rod, throw him back out there. All right, y'all, big pen fish going out on the Carolina rig here. Well, we got bait. <laughs> Bunch of LOIs here. See if we can put a hurting on these mangroves. Been slacking out here today. Losing a lot of baits. Oh, oh still got him. I still got him. I went to set the hook. Dang, it came off that tongue. I went to set the hook and my line wasn't on the roller. And my freaking bail opened. This was a good fish, too. Screwed the pooch there. Uh, not, not really. There's a good one. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's definitely a keeper. All right, y'all, check it out. Another keeper mangrove snapper. He's probably close to 14 inches. That was a good one. These live LYs seem to be the ticket for these bigger ones. Not having to deal with the, uh, the pinfish is bad. So I'm going to go throw this guy on ice, get some more LY out there, see if we can't load the cooler up with some of these delicious mangrove snapper here on the private island. All right, another LY out there. Yeah. So we can get us some more keepers here. There we go. Yeah. There's a good one. Come on, baby. Oh, what? What is that? A little grouper. Wow. Holy crap. That is cool. All right, y'all, check that out. What an awesome catch. Little gag grouper inshore here in Orange Beach, Alabama. This thing is tiny. We're gonna go ahead and let him go. But that is such a cool catch. A lot of places a little further east and especially South Florida get a lot of inshore grouper. We don't typically see a lot of that here in our area. It's really cool to catch them right here off the rocks inshore in Alabama. All right, we're gonna hook up another LY here. That was pretty dang cool catching a little grouper right here. Would have been better if he was legal, but. Definitely did not expect to catch that out here today. There's an insane amount of bait out here. Oh, I know. It's wild. I think we got a fish on. Oh. We got something eating the... Oh, yeah. Something eating the pinfish here. Oh, oh, oh. He's smoking it. Dang. What in the world? On the big old pin fish. This is a big fish, dude. Yes, sir. Holy crap. I, I was just cleaning all those LYs out of my cast net. I saw you throw them in the water. I, I was trying to, I was gonna get, end up getting some live ones. They had all died. And I looked over, my rod just like, Zzz, Zzz, Zzz. I was like, oh crap. Yeah, <laughs> I wanna go grab that. I halfway didn't expect to get eight on this. I just figured if I had a big live bait, might as well throw it out and see what happens. I don't know if my camera picked it up earlier, but it sounded like a freaking washing machine was going off and I looked over and right in front of Jonathan, they're like blowing up like crazy. I think it was Big Jack's chasing uh, some mullet. Not 100% sure. So that's when we threw this pinfish out. So it could be a jack, could be a redfish, could be a shark. Those are probably the three main options here. Either way, it's a big fish, whatever it is. Got 50 pound leader on here, so it should be good. Big old circle hook. He's just coming right on in to me now. I'm gonna try to bring him over here closer to this beach so I don't have to fool with the rocks as much. Come on, baby. Hopefully we can get him in this current. This current should help pull him over here. I don't want him in the rocks. Get over this way. I don't think he's gonna cooperate. Figures as much. All right, here he comes. What is this? It's freaking heavy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I thought I pulled hook for a second. All right, now he's going out in the way. That scared me. He turned his head and when he did, that line got loose and I thought he was a goner. 
You see them on the surface? Yep. See them right there? What is that? I don't know. That's a decent fish. Yeah, it's, it's big. Ooh. Oh, I'm pretty sure that was a shark. When he came up to the surface right there, he looked like a shark. I pointed the camera at it. I don't know what Yeah. You might be able to zoom in and see. Yeah. Yeah, he ended up just cutting that mono right there. Pretty certain that was a shark on the pinfish. Got the adrenaline pumping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well, that was pretty cool to hang that shark out here. Ended up cutting me off, though, but just got some more live LYs. See if we can get us some keepers. That's what we're really here for. Something to take home for some dinner. There he is. There he is. Not the rocks, not the rocks. Let's go. Not the rocks. Oh, he's all up on the rocks. There he goes. He got out. Oh. Ah, dude. Biggest one of the day so far. All right, y'all. Check that one out. Definitely the biggest of the day. Probably freaking 15, maybe even 16 inches. Big mangrove. It's probably about the size of the one that broke me off earlier. I didn't. I don't know if I had the camera on for that one, but he hit it and smoked it and then got me in the rocks and broke me off. But this one is definitely going to be a good eater. These LYs are getting it done out here as long as we can stay away from the pinfish. We need a few more, take home, do a little catch and cook. Let's freaking go. All right, <clears throat> that was a nice snapper. A couple more of them and we're going to be doing good. We got three keepers now, a little grouper and the shark that cut us off. Bit of fish. Yep, there we go. Thought I was in the rocks for a second. Another grouper. All right, y'all. Gag grouper number two. That is so wild catching these out here. Gonna send that guy on back. What an awesome catch. This little island is freaking loaded with fish. So cool to find these spots. Never even knew this was here. Obviously, some people fish it. That charter boat was here this morning, but. Definitely a cool spot to find. Just pull the boat here. I'm gonna have to bring Kelton back out here, get him on some of these fish. But uh, for now, we're gonna see if we can put some more in the cooler. It's pretty deep right here. Mm-hmm. There you go. There you go. Hey, mangrove. Jonathan with his first fish of the day. Come up here, little guy. Nice. That ain't a little guy. That's a good one. That was a really good one. Nice catch, dude. Is that your first mangrove snapper? It is. They do have some gnarly teeth. I see that. Don't throw them back. Is that a keeper? That is a keeper. We'll, th we'll just throw them in the live well for yeah. now. Good and job, dude. I told you to come over here. So this being a mangrove snapper, it's not, it's still got some red, but like a snapper's more red, right? Like a, like. Well, so there's a lot of different snappers. So red snapper, yes, is more red. Uh, mangroves are the darker and have the lines like that. Look at his orange and his eye. Mm -hmm. Looks like a vampire. A lot of times they'll get like a blue line yeah. down the front of their face. Um, but yeah, there's like, there's red snapper, mangrove snapper, vermilion snapper, you schoolmaster like snapper. Blue right there in his eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's pretty fish. He is. Another mangrove. Get him. Nice. Heck yeah. It's another keeper too. Nice yeah, work, dude. Stole your spot. I know. Sorry. I'm, I'm over here catching fish and. I'll go away now. No. I want you to catch fish. Hey, don't scare. Get out of here. Yeah, that's another probably 14 incher. Eating good today. We're going to turn this into the Jonathan show. No. Another nice keeper. Dude, whacking him. That extra split shot helped too. Yep. Get down a little bit. There goes Jonathan again, putting the hurting on him. Dang, dude. <laughs> that is a slob. That's a good one. Isn't it? That is a good one. Let me come bring you my pliers. I guess I'll have you, to go to Beach Bum Outdoors and buy a pair of pliers. You probably should. Because I don't have any. That is a good mangrove. They fight really good for their size. Even the like little bitty ones fight hard. Oh, got them. <laughs> He took me right in the rocks after he ate it. Able to pull him out, little bitty mangrove. Been catching a lot of the bigger ones, but got the little baby this time. See ya, buddy. All right, well, I have no idea what just happened to my camera. Hopefully, uh, everything I just filmed is not gone. 
if it is, then we're just jumping back in here. If it's still there, then I'm probably not even gonna talk about this. But just in case, it did get deleted. Uh, we got the mangrove snapper here. Had an awesome time out there on the island. And we are seasoning it up with some patio grill master. This is the grilled game fish spice. We're not grilling it. We're putting it in the pan with some butter. And uh, I was talking about being on 75 hard and kind of doing the carnivore diet. However, I'm not doing full carnivore. I am eating some vegetables and a few few fruits here and there, as well as carbs, sort of. Because um, we are going to cook some rice tonight. I've only had rice like two other times. I'm trying to go really heavy on just the meat and protein, stuff like that. But we got the butter heated up. We're going to put the mangrove snapper in the pan and then start on our rice. Sure. All right, Kelton's gonna get the stuff in the pan. I'm gonna cook the rice. We're, uh, we're just doing some minute rice here, nothing special. Two cups of water, two cups of rice, two cups of water. All right, two cups of water, two cups of rice. Bring that to a boil. If you've never had minute rice, it's like the easiest thing in the world to do. All right, we got the fish cooking. We got the rice cooking. It's gonna take a minute for the rice, so uh, I'll catch y'all when it's time to eat. I got a bracelet. Brace, brace. And mine. All right, y'all, the fish and rice is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a plate with some rice. Are y'all gonna eat rice? I don't know if the boys will eat any rice. So. I don't like rice. I like, I like the white. Got a little bit of fish up here on top of our bed of rice. So with this 75 hard, I've been working out twice a day and I've been exhausted. It's made me eat like a ton of food. Like I've been hungry all the time. Anytime I eat, I just like smash everything. Like giant steaks, doesn't really matter what it is. So we're gonna go with a lot of, a lot of fish tonight. All right, there's my little fish and rice. I'm gonna do a little bit of salt in there too. I'm gonna do just a hair soy sauce. Give me some flavor on the rice. And then a little bit of sweet chili hot sauce. Give us a little bit of heat. On this diet, again, I've been trying to avoid some things. And so, like ranch, honey mustard, all that has way too much calories, way too much junk. So pretty much been eating hot sauce, which is good, I like hot sauce, but hot sauce has it's like low calorie, not a whole lot of stuff in it. It's really just like spices. So, uh, Dad, you so we got. All right, Kelly, you want to try yours first? How is it? Do you like that seasoning? Mm -hmm. Wait, I want to try some of the meat. We'll try a little bite by itself first too. Mmm, dude, that seasoning is really good. A little bit of rice, a little bit of sweet chili hot sauce. Mm. Oh, good. Daddy. Right. I think it's good enough to leave. All right. Help me run away with everything. Anytime I like fish, I run away with it. All right. Kelton has been obsessed with eating fish lately, which is good. Super healthy and um, all good protein, as well as like the fish oils or whatever, all the good healthy stuff. Way better than like ramen noodles and pizza. He does like like some cheeseburgers and stuff from time to time. Uh, fried chicken of course, but definitely good to get him enjoying some fish. We're getting really close to having Kelton's channel ready. I've just, honestly it's been on me slacking, doing the editing. One more thing on top of all the things that I'm already editing, but uh, we're getting very close. He's super excited, he asks me like every day. That seasoning is so good. I don't know if that guy sells the seasoning or anything, but uh, if he does, if I find a website, I'm gonna link it down below so y'all can try it. So dang good. I think it'd be awesome for like redfish on the half shell, because it does say like grilled game fish. Recommend it for swordfish too. I've never had swordfish, but dude, I, I bet it would be delicious. Kelton's like tearing it up over here. <laughs> you like it, buddy? Yeah. It's really good with the rice and the, get a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of heat from that hot sauce. Mmm. If y'all are down in the area right now, mangrove snapper are hot and heavy. Pretty much anywhere you can get around some structure, any kind of piers or jetties, seawalls, stuff like that, uh, mangrove snapper are typically gonna be there. 
you're not gonna have to weed through the pinfish. We dealt with that a lot today. <clears throat> Most of the time, you're gonna have the biggest issue with pinfish with live shrimp. And so we did throw the cast net and got some of those little LYs, which were definitely the ticket for the bigger snapper. We did still have to deal with the pinfish, some with those LYs, but not nearly as bad as what you're gonna have when you are using live shrimp. Uh, so if you know how to throw a cast net, there's been LYs all over the place. So you should have a shot at finding those as well. So if you're in town, go get you some. They are absolutely delicious. Everything I use in today's video is gonna be linked down below. Go check out beachboneoutdoors.com. I'm about to go finish eating this dinner. Braves baseball game is on right now. They're beating the crap out of the Mets. Braves are having a killer, killer year. So I'm gonna go finish watching the game, eat some of this fish. Kelton's gonna smash the rest of his. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Until next time. Y'all take care.